Action News Now reporter Jesse Angelo has joined the Reading Police Department's Citizen Academy. In week two, Jesse reports on the department's use of less than lethal force. Get out right now, undo your seatbelt. Undo your seatbelt and get out. You've likely seen this video showing a Reading police officer's interaction with a non-compliant person during a traffic stop. During the second week of the Citizens Academy, Reading police instructors covered defensive tactics and less than lethal force options. They even showed us exactly what the officer was doing in the video. In the video you guys watched, that officer is very, very adept at this technique and he, he actually trains on his own in Aikido. Um, and so it can add a lot of torque to everything right here in the twist. And you each officer on the department receives continuing training on how to take people into custody with the least amount of force possible, only resorting to stronger tactics when situations pose a danger to the officer or the public. Officers have several choices of less than lethal options, including tasers. Taser, taser, taser. The use of tasers requires extensive training, but has been proven highly effective in many situations. Several of the students in the class volunteered to be tased, including Julia Ray Corbin Smith, who describes her experience. Oh, how do I explain it? It's just a very much a, a, a paralyzing, paralyzing is a good word, a paralyzing action where you can still hear everything that's going on, but you're feeling all the energy of the probes throughout your whole body. The final topic covered in week two was the use of canines. These dogs can be used to help arrest suspects or to sniff out drugs and other contraband. The canine here is Duke, who was shot in the line of duty when he was just 15 months old, but could still serve the department for six to eight years. RPD's instructors tell me they pride themselves in going above and beyond the state minimum requirements for less than lethal force and say these tactics help ensure everyone's safety. In Reading, Jesse Angelo, Action News Now. And next week, Jesse covers week three of the Citizens Academy, where students will learn about other force options available uh, to officers.